Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Cave of Collectibles. I hope you all enjoyed the statue room tour that I did the other day and uploaded for you all to watch. Today, I'm going to give you all a quick update on my comic collection. I reckon I'll include them all in this video, DC, Marvel, Independence, everything. So I hope you can stick around for it all. It might be a bit of a lengthy video, but otherwise, guys, enjoy the video. Hey everyone, we'll start with the Aquaman stuff. I'll try not to put you too long or ramble on too much, but we'll see how we go. We've got Aquaman Volume 1 by Peter David. I plan on picking up Volume 2 at some stage. I did quite enjoy Volume 1. Aquaman Omnibus by Jeff Johns. Really, really good read. Aquaman is, I find, a really underrated character, especially with some of the writers he's had recently. There's some really, really good stuff. Dan Abnett's Aquaman, which was another really, really strong run. Everything I've read by Abnett, I've read by Abnett, I've really, really enjoyed, whether it be comics or actual novels. I find him to be a really strong, engaging author. The Conics Aquaman. Then The Authority by Warren Ellis. This stuff as well. I absolutely love anything by Warren Ellis. I just can't put down. Batgirl, Stephanie Brown, that was another good read. Then the Batgirl by Gail Simone, that run. I absolutely love this stuff. Even all the artwork and stuff, it really, really... Oh, try and get some there for you. Brought the whole story and the character to life. It's a shame it only lasted the five volumes. And over here, I picked up a few more of the Rebirth Batgirl since last time. Volumes 2 and 3, I reckon I found some of them fairly cheap. It's good stuff, but not as great as the New 52. Batgirl and the Birds of Prey. Batman Damned, Batman White Knight. The Batman Who Laughs and some of the No Man's Land stuff. I've got to hunt down the rest of that. I got onto that a bit late, so... When I fill up the last... Uh, I've got to pick up Cataclysm and... Road to No Man's Land Volume 2 and... Volume 2 and 4 of No Man's Land to complete the run. Complete the run. Wow, I can't talk today. But that should be some good stuff. I'm looking forward to hunting it down one day. But I only set goals to hunt down certain stuff at a time. So it doesn't get too overwhelming. Batman by Grant Morrison. Omnibus number 1 and 2. Looking forward to the third coming out at some stage this year. And here's my Batman by Scott Snyder, the New 52 stuff. I picked up Volume 10 fairly recently. I don't reckon that was in my last room tour. Batman Detective Comics Volume 1. Don't plan on getting any more of them. I didn't think that was the greatest. Batman Eternal. Then we've got Batman and Robin by Tomasi. I eventually want to finish that run, whether it be in the Omnibus or the... Just picking up the trades I'm missing. Who knows yet. All-Star Batman by Snyder. Tom King's Batman. As you can see, I've gone up to volume 4 of the deluxe editions and then started getting the trades. I've just got fed up of waiting for the deluxes to come out. I know number 5 has been solicited. But I'll probably just continue with the trades in them for now. Then here we are. I finished. Got up to number 4 in the... Deluxe editions for the Batman Detective Comics. I reckon I've got one or two trades between there and the start of the Tomasi stuff. But all of that stuff is great. Then I've got Detective Comics 1000 in there. The second tra second hardback of Tomasi's Batman. Batwoman. This one I love. I reckon I showed you last time. But it's signed by Greg Rucker who's one of my favourite writers in comics. So... Really, really glad to have this in my collection. I'll just chuck it up there and fix it all up afterwards. The new 52 Batwoman stuff. Rebirth Batwoman stuff. I wish there was more Batwoman stuff out there, but there's not, unfortunately. Over here is the Birds of Prey stuff. This is what I'm currently hunting down. I've got a few more recently in the last couple of days, which will be in my... Next haul video. But 
This is great stuff. I love anything by Gail Simone. If you've got any leads on the missing volumes, please let me know because I'm really, really keen on completing that run and getting the stuff leading right up to a flashpoint. The new 52 Birds of Prey. I just need to pick up volume 5, but I don't think that stuff is as good as the Simone stuff. Black Adam. Black Canary and Zatanna. This is an OGN, I believe. Yes. I love these characters, so sometimes it is good to have these random trades or collections and just a good bit of reading and a good bit of break. A good good break from the other ongoing series. I've got my bombshell stuff here. I'm looking to get the rest of that eventually, but there's no rush. Over here I've got my Catwoman stuff. So I've got volume one with the newer printing, and I've got a few of the little ones. Volume 4, 5, and 6. I'll show you in a second. But I think I need to pick up Volume 3. And I might eventually replace them with Volume 2. As you can see, the older ones have much thicker paper. And take up a lot of shelf space. And it would just be nice of a continuity. And let's jump down here now. I might grab my chair. As you can see, there's Catwoman number 6. I've enjoyed them so far. The, um... Post rebirth phase of Catwoman. I absolutely love these. Joel Jones is a great artist. And you can see some. Let's see if I can open it up with one hand. It's a bit tricky. There we go. Some great art in there, if you can see that. My Dark Knight's Metal stuff, Deceased, Deathstroke. And there is volumes one through four of. Ah, oh, the Rebirth stuff. I've got Volume 5 on order at my LCS, so I should be getting that eventually. Batman vs. Deathstroke and Deathstroke Arkham. Doomsday Clock Part 1. Doctor Fate. Just another little random trade in there. Like I said, I love having them of the some of these smaller characters just to break up. Reading a massive ongoing series. Over here, where are we up to? I flashed off. There's some Mark Wade stuff. Flash and Green Lantern. The last story of The Flash. And there's volumes one through three of The Flash by Jeff Johns. I'm actually reading volume four at the moment. Flash Rebirth. And then the post Rebirth stuff. When we've got Barry Allen before the Flashpoint. There, there. And one of the Flashpoint. Comics, one of the times, just randomly sitting there. The Flash by Francis Manipal and Brian Bucolato. I can't pronounce names, so forgive me. I absolutely love the art in that one. My Rebirth Flash. Slowly picking up the trades I'm missing. There's Gotham Central Omnibus, a great, great read, and it's a big, big change from reading. The superhero comics, but still being set in the superhero universe. We've got Green Arrow, Black Canary. I read that recently. I really enjoyed it. So I might try and chase down the rest of that series eventually. Um, Green Arrow by Mark Grell. I'll pick those omnibus up when they come out. A random Green Arrow volume there. Green Arrow by Jeff Lemire. I think is absolutely incredible. I love that. And the Rebirth Green Arrow, slowly finishing that off. And over here I've got all my Green Lantern stuff from the start of the Jeff Johns run. And all the way down here we've got Blackest Night, Brightest Day. Up to the start of the new 52 and i still got a few holes there to finish until we get up to the Rebirth stuff. Here's my Rebirth Green Lantern, that's all good. Green Lantern by Grant Morrison. Harley Quinn and the Gotham City Sirens Omnibus. That was a great read. I love this book as well. Batman and Harley. Or Harley and Ivy, sorry. Harley Quinn by Carl Kessel and Terry Dodson. I'll pick up Volume 2 eventually. All the New 52 stuff. Rebirth. And post-rebirth. Hawkman by Jeff Johns, Volume 1. 
Hawkman Awakening, my Heroes in Crisis. So you hit it down there, we've got Huntress Year One. JLA by Morrison, I plan on finishing that run in the future. There's so much to get, I sort of have to prioritise certain runs at certain times. At the moment I'm chasing down a few Birds of Prey and Wonder Woman stuff, so that's on the back burner for the while. Justice League by Jeff Johns, all the new 52 stuff. And coming down here we've got all the Rebirth stuff. Technically post-Rebirth I think. Come over here. JLA and all the stuff after No Justice. Which all looks really, really good on the shelves. Let's see if I can get a close-up of all the pictures up there. I love how the spines look on there. Really, really like the black spines with the colours in the middle depicting what run they are part of. There's the crossover of the Justice League Aquaman and my JSA Omnibus. They're massive ones. Kingdom Come, the Black Label Edition, my Manhunter comics. Got to find the rest of that run too eventually. Let's get right down the bottom. Mira, again by Abner, another really strong comic. Mr. Miracle, Nightwing Deluxe Volume 1. I might finish that someday, but Nightwing's never been one of my favourite characters. But I did enjoy that one when I read it, so I might pick up another one and give it another chance. Planet Tree by Warren Ellis, highly recommended. Plastic Man by Gail Simone, Poison Ivy, Power Girl. Raven, Daughter of Darkness. Red Hood and the Outlaws. The first omnibus, and I started picking up the rest in the trades, like I've, you've probably seen in some of my haul videos. I enjoy that too much to wait for if and when there will be another omnibus. There is the Red Hood and the Outlaws rebirth. Or the start of the rebirth stuff. Secret Six, Shazam, Starfire, Stormwatch, which is more, Warren Ellis, Suicide Squad. Finally got volume four of a new Suicide Squad there. So that completes that running out. The rebirth stuff as well, I finished that run off. I'm looking forward to the Tom Taylor stuff when that eventually gets collected. Super Sons, Supergirl. I filled up a little bit more of the Supergirl run there as well. I've got to pick up Volume 4 and then that will continue into the post-rebirth stuff. Superman, Red Sun. There's the two volumes of Superman by Byrne I've got. All the Superman stuff, the Loeb stuff there. A few of the older Superman comics here as well. I've tried to do it in order as best I could, but you know what it can be like. There's Superman and Action Comics. Over here I've got all the Bender stuff. Superman, Batman. And if we come over here, down here I've got the continuation of the Superman, Batman and Superwoman. Which I think is a really, really underrated series. It started off really strong, but sort of went downhill as it went on. It's a shame that it finished after three trades, but it is what it is. I'm still after the last trade of the Superman Batman run as well. Teen Titans. The first six trades by Johns. Eventually I'll try and find the rest of them. And the Rebirth Teen Titans and the post-Rebirth Teen Titans. I've got volume 3 of the Rebirth stuff sitting for my next haul video. Terminus Agenda. The Terrifics, Terror Titans, Threshold Titans. I've got to pick up the rest of that as well. I think there's about three trades I'm missing of Titans. Trinity, Watchmen, Young Justice. Over here, separately, I keep my Earth 1 stuff. So I've got the Batman, the Green Lantern, Superman, and Wonder Woman. And one day, I'll see if I can be bothered to get the Teen Titans stuff. Up here, I've got my Wonder Woman shelf. You can see the Wonder Woman in training armour. Standing in front of it. I love that statue, but the camera isn't doing it justice. The likeness, I think, is much truer to Gal Gadot than the camera is giving it credit for. There, I've got my George Perez Wonder Woman Omnis. 
Volume 3 I'm reading at the moment. Wonder Woman by Mark Diodato. Wonder Woman by John Byrne. Volume 1, I've got to pick up the second two. There's my Wonder Woman by Phil Jimenez, Jimenez Omnibus. Wonder Woman by Greg Rucker. Then over here we've got Who is Wonder Woman? A Love and Murder by Jodie Picoult. And Amazon's Attack. I'm still after the two trades of Wonder Woman Odyssey. I don't currently have any of the New 52 stuff. I will hunt that down eventually. But because it's readily available at the moment, I'm putting my effort into finding the Odyssey stuff and the few little holes which aren't filled yet. Wonder Woman, I've got all the Rebirth stuff, so Rebirth onwards, I'm up to date. I've got the three deluxe editions. And over here, we've got the post-Rebirth stuff. Wonder Woman and Justice League Dark crossover, and the Just War, which is the first trade of G. Willow Wilson's run. Over here, I'll give you a quick glimpse of what will be in the next haul video. Almost done. You guys are probably sick of me talking by now, I've got the Invincible Ultimate Collection Volume 1, which I'll eventually finish off. The first two trades, or hardbacks of the Teenage Mutant... Teenage... I can't talk today. Of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by RDW, the complete collection. I love these, so I will eventually get them all. Um, the Transformers RDW Collection... I tried giving that a read, and the first Megatron miniseries, I did not enjoy, and it just seemed to jump all over the place. The story seemed inco incoherent. I very, very rarely give up on reading a comic, even if it's not great. And that, I think, is about one of the two or three I've ever stopped reading in the middle of, because I was just not enjoying it. The Walking Dead, here's Negan. Halo Escalation, Deja Thoris, Red Sonja, Vampirilla, Birthright. This is another great series. I absolutely love it. Great storytelling, great art, written by Joshua Williamson, who's on the flash at the moment. I find he is really underrated. He's a great writer. Blackbird, Descender, Die, I Hate Fairyland. That was another great series. It's a shame they finished it. Monstrous Volumes 1 through 4, and Revival Volumes 1 through 4, Snot Girl Volumes 1 and 2, and we've got Lady Mechanica. Over here I've got a few of my art books, the Wonder Woman movie art book, and a Harley Quinn art book, if you can see that there. Then we'll move over here to my Marvel stuff. This area hasn't grown a bunch since... You probably last saw it, so I'll go through it quickly. The Hickman Avengers is the first stuff you'll see. First two trades of Avengers by Jason Aaron. There's a couple of trades of Black Widow, Captain America, Domino, Fantastic Four, Guardians, Invincible Iron Man, She-Hulk. I will collect the rest of that run. It was really, really enjoyable. Secret Warriors by Hickman, I'm really looking forward to getting into. Thanos Rising, and I've got a few of the tie-ins for War of Realms, and I'll eventually pick the rest of them up. Over here, we've got my Star Wars stuff. I'll just show you the comics today, I won't show you the books. Unless you guys are really interested, let me know in the comments. I've got the first three hardcovers of the Star Wars, and then started getting... The trades because they stopped with the hard covers. I think I've got volume 10 there. I need to get the last two or three. I'm only just starting to catch up now because I was waiting for the next hard cover. It never came, so I just gave up. There's da uh, Captain Phasma there, Darth Vader, Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith. The two trades, but I will eventually replace them with the hard cover when it comes out. Vader Dark Visions, Dr. Aphra. Then now I'm having to find all these trades as well because they never released a second hardcover. Han Solo hardcover, Heroes. For A New Hope, and there goes Clara June. Star Wars Kanan. The 
the, I don't know why it's called an omnibus. It's really an oversized hardcover. Shattered Empire. And here I've got a lot of the other trades. I really need to fix up the alphabetical order. It's driving me insane because now I'm mixing them together. These shouldn't all be here. But they've got the Age of Republic, the Age of Rebellion, and the Age of Resistance. Star Wars Allegiance. Darth Maul. The two separate trades. And here I've got Star Wars Galaxy Edge. I've seen other people who have Galaxy's Edge under the Star Wars there. Mine doesn't. I don't know why, but it is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. Han Solo, Imperial Cadet. Jedi of the Republic, Mace Windu. Lando, Double or Nothing, Obi-Wan. And I started to finally get the Poe po Dameron trades. I was waiting for an omnibus or an oversized hardcover. But they never came, so... Fingers crossed they come one day, but otherwise I'll just have to finish picking up the last couple of trades. And TIE Fighter as well, which is a tie-in to Alphabet Squadron. And hidden down here, I've got a few other things. Isabella, Volumes 1 and 2, that was a great read. And this as well, Water Snakes by Tony Sandoval. I reckon I might have shown you this last time, but I saw the art in this book. And absolutely fell in love with it. It's a book I'm really, really looking forward to getting into. Unfortunately, it's one of the ones that have just sat there for a while and I haven't got around to reading. But, yeah, it looks phenomenal. It looks like it'll be a really quick read. But anyway, guys, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. But otherwise, if there's anything else in my collection you want to see, let me know. And I'll see you all in the next video.